Well, Jenny's live at uh, Miracosta College this morning, celebrating the school's 75th anniversary. Jenny eating some cake yet this morning? Well, who's got cake? I don't know. You're, you're, the you're at the party. I know. Think of the I anniversary know. cake. They're baking it right now. <laughs> right. I'll bring one back to you. But yes, Perfect. they are celebrating their 75th anniversary. Uh, a community college very excited about the programs that they have to offer. And uh, started in the 1930s, still around today, growing strong, a, a student population of about 13,000 people. Now, one of the programs they're really, really excited about because of the job placement and because of the industry in San Diego is their biotech program. So joining me now is Professor. Professor Mike Fino, and you are one of the professors who, who teaches this program. Let's talk a little bit about where we are right now. So we're in our biotech training facility right now. We have 3,500 square feet of lab space that's primarily dedicated towards training. So a lot of universities have labs, but they're conducting active research. Our labs are completely dedicated towards training for career training, skill development, and so forth. And so right now we're in our, what we call our bioprocessing suite. This is an area that we developed in partnership with Genentech to kind of model what they do as part of uh, making next generation biologics. And, and, and so, I mean, we know that the biotech industry in San Diego is huge. Hundreds of companies were like the third most, I, I guess, biotech city in, in the country, is that right? That's right, yeah. So there's three main clusters throughout the country, uh, San Diego, San Francisco, and Boston. So we are we are definitely a locus of life science activity. So what do you teach here? Because I, I mean, I know that you say that your students walk out of here I mean, they will get likely get jobs. They get an associate's degree. What do you teach them to do while they're here? The associate's degrees and certificates better than 90% job placement students coming out of here. And so most of the coursework that we have are lab classes. We're here to build skills, that competence, uh, confidence to work in a technical laboratory. So it's mostly lab classes. We have very practical, very hands-on. People are doing these things. It's not us standing in a classroom talking about these. Right, they're, they're actually, actually hands-on. It's hands-on. So I mean, I know I dissected a cat. Let's go over this way. When when I was a senior in high school, and that was a, about as far as I went with the lab work, because I, I was done with that. But yeah, so like, so let's say you guys are working on like a drug, or a company's working on a drug. They'll actually have to see how it affects the cell. So like, you were going to take me through the process a little bit. Right. So cell culture, one of the fundamental techniques that that companies will do uh, to test drug efficacy, for example. And so we'll do a little bit of kind of an emerald cooking show. We have some of these things already prepared. So this is where these are cells. Are. These are our cells. This is a CO2 incubator. So this, this keeps uh, the cells at the temperature that they need to be at body temperature. And so it's mostly animal cells. And so we usually keep it at 37 degrees Celsius or, you know, 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And you said you were, and the, right here you were going to show me this? Yeah. So, so the cells will be growing in the incubator. The next thing we want to do is come over to this microscope to make sure. So we do a little check in there to make sure the cells are in there, that they're covering the bottom yeah, surface. And you can see in these little circles. And so once we confirm that the cells are there, they're, they're healthy, we move over into our biosafety cabinet where we can start an experiment. Yeah, and you were going to actually have me do this, so yes. I'll let you hold the microphone. Okay. And I'm going to touch this aspirator, is that what you call it? That's our pipetter. I like it. I and, feel very official. Okay, and so what you're going to do is take cells out that we've harvested right. from one of those containers and dispense them into those six wells. This is like the closest I've ever come to doing any. The top button? Top button aspirates. Ooh. This is like and then high tech little, top. The, oh, wait. Lift up the cap. <laughs> And put it in and then down to ah. dispense and so what we could be doing in each of those wells is maybe putting in different uh, different concentrations of a drug that we're testing and actually see if it works on cells and seeing what it's doing to the cells whether it's working them whether so it's before I go to the pharmacist and the medicine get you know is consumed by the public you guys have to make sure or the people that go to school who might be working in a lab there's been some sure. hard-working technicians that have done to to confirm that it's safe and effective cool. before it ever yeah Gets to the I, I probably wouldn't be one of the people who'd be good in, in a lab, but uh, you know, this is a great program. And, and again, you know, we do so many stories about the economy and how hard it is, especially for students to get into the marketplace out of college. So we know that the biotech industry, I mean, there might be a lull, but they're still hiring and whatnot. So it's really cool that you have these types of programs like this where people can go to school for two years, get their, you know, get their associate's degree and actually have like tangible experience for, for a job out there. Absolutely. And we even have, it's probably about 50% of the students we have in our program already have a bachelor's degree. So yeah. they're here to get a certificate. And some of those certificate programs are as short as a semester. You can come in here, develop all those skills to make them, you right. know, uh, qualify them for a job and then go and then go find a good career in okay. the area.
All right, Professor Mike Fino, thanks for joining us. And uh, again, we're here, MiraCosta College's 75th anniversary. We're going to start talking about some nuclear science for the next hit, and then we're going to head over to the theater and see what they've got with their audio studio. But again, they're very proud of their campus and uh, 13,000 student enrollment. So uh, exciting stuff going on here. Yes, well, they should nuclear be. Nuclear science, woo. Yeah, I guess that's an industry that's that. just, I know, right? I, I got to drink like four lattes for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Jenny. Jenny. All right, take care.